Hi beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day and today we're doing an unboxing video which you know I love. So today we're unboxing all three of the boxy charms for September 2021 which I'm really excited about. It's been a while since I did a three unboxing. I usually do like two and everything or just like a small tiny bag and a regular one. But today we're unboxing all three levels of the Boxy Charm. We have the base box, we have the premium box, as well as the luxe box, which is every three months. The other two are every month. So today I'm gonna be unboxing these. I do receive PR from a Boxy Charm in exchange for my unboxing, but I also am a customer as well. I have my own premium subscription. I have an affiliate link. You don't have to use it, but I'll leave a link down below if you want to. And yeah, I'm excited to see if this is worth it because I don't know if I really loved my boxy charm last month. I did enjoy the add-ons that I added on. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. We're gonna start with the base box and work our way up to the Lux. I do want to give a quick shout out to my shop, theopencrypt.com. It's all handmade by me. I'm really excited about some of these new launches. I just released the Moonlit Shower Gel, which is a light bamboo scent, which is like really nice and real refreshing. So I feel like when you take a shower, you want it to be refreshing. So I have this brand new shower gel. Also, my favorite thing I've launched in a really long time, and I cannot believe I'm finally <laughs> releasing it, is the little ghosty boo earrings. These are so precious. I love them so much. I know I'm wearing my blank cleavers today for my own shop, but like the ghosty boos, they're like my favorite thing and I had to name them that. But anyways, let's move on to the base box now. This is $25 a month and it's a big box in here this time. So this month's theme is BTS. So behind the scenes, we have a whole bunch of stuff. I will also let you know the retail prices of this box like everything inside i do really appreciate the boxy star and puts these cards in here because ipsy stopped doing that i know you can go on their app and like look up what's in your box and everything i just love having a card so when i opening everything i'm like oh i'm getting a good value rather than like researching it afterwards it's kind of what i like boxy charm for but first thing is from glam glow which i know is pricey right off the bat and this is big i've never had anything big from them. i've had like sample stuffs from glam glow but never tried anything big this is their youth mud the glow stimulating treatment so this is what this product looks like. It retails for $60. $60. Glow Stimulating Exfoliating Treatment Mask. Youth Mud. For anti-aging, fine lines, smooth, refine, and glow. This is expensive, but this is the first thing in here. It took up a lot of room in our box. And now the rest of our box looks real sad. It's like a bunch of small things. I guess you could only fit so much in here with it. We have a piece of paper. And then the next thing in here is Quick Slick from INH, insert name here. I've never heard of this brand. This is a hair essence, quick slick hair essence. Hold my strays. So I think it's like a little hairspray thing. So the brand is called, insert name here, quick slick hair essence. It's a $22 uh, touch up for your baby hairs and flyaways. So it's like a, you can call it a, like a no touch up hair essence if you want to. Hair essence, a fancy way to say a touch up hairspray, <laughs> but this is the thing in here. I mean, I don't even know if it's a spray or not, but it's, it's what a hairspray does, y'all. I mean, I have a lot of sprays and flyaways, but that's just because my hair is a mess all the time. Next up in here, we have something from Georgette Klinger. This is a Marula primer since 1941, all skin types. So this is what this product looks like. It's I've never heard of this brand before, you know, um, but this Georgette Klinger Primer retails for $32. This is to blur imperfections and ensure all day radiant finish. I'm gonna look at reviews on this, but you know, it says wait 15 sec 15 to 30 seconds before you put your foundation on everything off, like, you know, let it set in your face before you put your foundation on. Next up in here is from Pinky Rose. I know they have cute stuff, so I'm excited about this one. This is the Pump Up Your Base two multi-use makeup sticks that's interesting here's what the box looks like it looks like a boom box it's very cute it's very cute and i like pinky rose's eyeshadows this retails for 20 dollars. so two makeup sticks we're gonna find out what that means it's like an eyeshadow stick maybe okay so they come in a brown bronzy tone and more of a matte cream and yeah it's just a, it's like an it's like a color stick it's just like a color stick i don't know how to describe it let me read the description for you because I'm not really, it looks like an eyeshadow stick, but it says multi-use stick. So it says a cream base, multi-use makeup stick can be used on the eyelids as an eyeshadow primer or an eyeshadow. Um, it can be used on your waterline, brow bone, lips, lower lash line. Perfect duo could be used together or separately. So we have a cream and more of a bronzy tone multi-use stick. 
I think most people are going to use this as an eyelid primer, you know, or maybe as a brow bone highlight for the cream color. But this is the thing from them. I'm happy to see Pinky Rose, just not my kind of product. And then lastly in here, we have something from Huda Beauty, okay? This is a Demi Matte Cream Lipstick in the shade Day Slayer. And this color, you guys, looks kind of cute. It's like a nudie kind of color. Kind of cute. I mean, Demi Matte isn't my favorite. I want a matte matte liquid lipstick, but let's go ahead and swatch it. This retails for $20. It's a little peachier than I would like personally, but not a bad color. I'm happy to see colors like this in a swisher box instead of just like bright pinks and purples and stuff, which I'm totally over. So in the regular base box for $25, we have a $20 Huda Beauty lip lipstick, liquid lipstick. We have two like multi-use sticks from Pinky Rose retail for $20. We have a $60 Glam Glow Youth Mud Mask. We have a $22 little hair perfector, as well as a $32 primer from Georgette Klinger, which again, I've never heard of. It just sounds so weird to say that name. But anyways, this is what we have in the BoxyCharm base box. Let's move on to the premium one now. So next is premium. Premium has like a little bit of weight to it and it's a full size box, the same size box actually as the Lux. So probably some larger products in here or some smaller ones in Lux, I'm not sure. Again, the theme this month is BTS and I will let you know the retail products, retail value of the products. I can't talk today. All right, so in here, first thing I do recognize this. We don't have that much in the back here, but at least it's protected safely. Let's do the first thing, which I have seen before, and I believe this was an add-on option a while back, if I remember correctly. This is from Beauty Bakery. It is their Milk and Honey Highlighter Palette, which looks so cute. I don't, I don't remember the colors on the inside yet, but like the packaging on this is super cute. Look at it, cute, so cute. This retails for $38. And ooh, here is the inside here. Oh, I was like, why is there an end in it? It's like a little uh, honey spoon thing. I don't know what you call that. But these are the highlighter colors. I don't think I'd be able to wear this color even as a bronzer because it's too shimmery. But the highlighter colors are cute. The orange might be a little bit dark for me too, but I would love to use it as a shimmery blush. So this is the next thing, first thing in here actually for $38. And then when you put it back in the honeycomb, it goes back to being a honeycomb. <laughs> All right, next up in here is from Herbivore. This is a Blue Tansy, I'm tired of getting this brand, <laughs> Blue Tansy Resurfacing Clarity Mask. So we had a mask in the base box. We also have a mask in this premium box. This retails for $48. It's heavy. It's heavy. $48 though for a mask. I feel like I like $48. I, I mean, I don't like $48 because it's expensive as like a more of a moisturizer price, but as a mask, I feel like it's something you're washing off. I don't know. But here is the Blue Tansy Mask. I feel like we've gotten something similar to this before. But it retails for $48, so good value. Next up in here is from Fenty. Ooh, I'm excited about this because look at that color scheme. It is green and neutrals and like a little bit yellow. I'm excited. This is the Snap Palette. This is 7 Cadet. This retails for $25. I remember there was like some controversy about these palettes when they first got announced. I don't know if people just hated them or they were like too overpriced. I don't know. Oh, it's tiny, tiny. This is so cute. Okay, so, ooh, please be cute. Oh, that is so cute. Oh my God, I love it. It's not as green as I expected, but I love the mustardy tone in here with the light, a uh, white shimmery shade. Look how cute that is. Does that not scream? I would use that every day because it totally does. I really like this grungy shade too. That is so cute. Oh, it's my favorite thing. Okay, I'm definitely using this. Let me swatch. There's only one shimmer. Oh, there's two shimmers. Ooh. Let me swatch these so we have the kind of shimmery shade Ooh, the the white and the the white's not white it's yellow and this yellow i'm gonna go over and swatch it again it's not swatching well y'all it's not a good yellow swatch but i'm gonna try my best to make this eyeshadow work hopefully it looks better on the eyes than it does in the swatches because the swatches are very misleading that yellow is not it but this color scheme is gorgeous i can't wait to use this next thing in here is from complex culture again a brand we've seen a lot this is a Sonic T-Bar Facial Massager. This retails for $58. They're a pricey brand, but I don't know if anybody's people are actually paying that retail price. So they just show up in boxes, just claiming expensive value. You know, like I hate things that have like, not the best packaging and they're like super expensive. But here is the facial roller moment here. I don't know why I'm leaning so far one way today, um, but yeah, 
yeah, I don't need a facial roller thing. Do I? Because I'm getting older, maybe. But it's just not really my thing. But I'm not disappointed either. It could be worse, you know? Um, next up in here, ooh, this is from Verb, ghost oil. The word ghost intrigued me. I don't really know what that means. It's a smoothing Moringa blend weightless hair oil. Not for me. I have the world's oiliest scalp, okay? <laughs> um, but this is the Verb hair oil here. This retails... For $18 for this little hair oil. It might say weightless hair oil, but as someone whose scalp, literally you can wash it and the next day it looks like you need to wash your hair again. I'm not putting oil in my hair. <laughs> All right, lastly in here, we have something from Laura Mercier. And I think I've tried this before. This is the Laura Mercier Soothing Eye Makeup Remover. I need eye makeup remover sometimes, even though I'm lazy and I you know, don't do it most days, because I always lash glue my lashes. But this is the Laura Mercier Eye makeup remover. This retails for $27, which sounds about right. Sometimes you can find Laura Mercier stuff on sale like Nordstrom Rack or at TJ Maxx and stuff, which is, or Marshalls, which is always pretty good because, you know, this is really expensive. It's nice stuff. They always have nice stuff in the brand. Sometimes it's a little pricey, so it's good to find a discount, but, you know, $27 isn't the most unheard of thing in the world, especially for an eye makeup remover since you're not using it all over your face. You're just using your eyes. It's going to last a lot longer, but let's go for everything that we got in the premium box this month. So we have a Laura Mercier eye makeup remover a fancy little eyeshadow palette, beautiful color scheme, not sure about the quality yet, with a blue tansy mask. We have a facial massager from Complex Culture, a ghost oil for your hair, and as well as a highlighter palette from Beauty Bakery. So obviously I think my favorite thing is going to be these two, because you know I love highlighters and I love eyeshadow, but really not bad month this month at all, especially for $35. So let's move on now to the big kahuna, which is the BoxyCharm Luxe, the Boxy Luxe. All right, last box. This one is, again, heavy. They get heavier as we go, but this one, like, heavy, heavy. So this is the Boxy Lux, which, oh, it's a different theme. So the rest were BTS behind the scenes theme. This one is Fall Lux, because, you know, they're every three months, so it's different. It's a really cute card, and I'm excited to see what's in here. I don't know. I haven't seen any spoilers. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing in here up here is from Rare Beauty, which is Selena Gomez's beauty brand which I've heard a lot about. So this is the eyeshadow palette. It just says eyeshadow palette. Mag magnetic Spirit, it says. I love how the thing says you are rare on the inside, but that means you're not like one of a kind. <laughs> you just, it's, it's rare to have a you. <laughs> um, but anyways, this is the palette. Doing this like to show you the front of it, all I see is my reflection because it's a mag, like a, you know, a mirror in the back. But the palette color scheme is very pretty or on the front, the palette, the palette is very pretty. Here is the inside color scheme. It's cute, not really my vibe, it feels very random. These colors don't feel like they go together very well, especially like the weird orange and then this bronzy green. And it all is shimmers, which is weird. There's no mattes in here. So this is a weird color scheme for me. This retails for $25. So not like the world's most expensive palette by any means. Um, but I, I just doesn't understand the color scheme. I just don't understand the color scheme. That's basically just what it is. I don't understand the color scheme. But the palette is pretty. Like, the packaging is pretty. Next up on the top here, we have something from KAB, which we've gotten this brand before, but this is big. So it says Volume 1 Contour, which hopefully is the lightest of the contour volumes because your girl's not very tan. <laughs> um, this retails for $60. Oh, my God. $60. Let's see. Oh, okay. So the mirror is broken. My mirror be shattered. <laughs> You're just seeing yourself, but the mirror is broken in three places. But here is the contour palette. They're all very warm. I feel like this would be good, but it's not much of a contour shade. Like these are the only two shades that could be counted as contour and that's very orange. So I don't really know what's going on with these. It's more of a powder matte highlight deal than an actual contour palette especially for $60 like I could probably make this shade work as a contour color um but you know out of the whole contour palette I can't use the banana powder the other one's too orange and the one shade looks like a contour it's massive so I don't know about this palette but it's $60 retail value is a good thing to get a box and it was in this whole bubble thing I don't know why it was broken but unless it just is a thing that happens to these things because certain products I noticed will break more than others I don't know if it was a manufacturing issue or not or if it was in shipping I don't know I don't really trust the FedEx people when they deliver stuff sometimes <laughs> I find a box that's like halfway on its side and like that means you just chucked it up here right 
Um, anyways, this is what's next in here. So let's do these little tiny jars before we get to the long thing. So this first thing is a lifestyle. Lifestyle is spelled L-Y instead of L-I, which is weird. Lifestyle Co. Bamboo, Bamboo Body Polish. So these are really good. I make my own for my shop, but the body polishes and stuff are really nice products. It's vegan, paraben-free, sulfate-free. So you scoop a little bit on your um, fingers when you're in the shower, when you're wet, and it helps um, get rid of any dead skin and stuff. This retails for $49. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. We don't... $49, a small jar? Uh-uh. No. No. <laughs> no way. All right, next up. We're moving on from that because that was a ridiculous price for that. This is the Dew of the Gods Froze Haya Activated Lip Scrub. So I guess it's a water activated lip scrub. Comes in this like jar. Something in there. This retails for, I don't even know. Oh, $16. So when you open up this little jar, there's another jar inside. So this seems like a lot of packs. You like, you have this cardboard thing. And you have plastic around that and then you have the jar inside i feel like you could just put the plastic around it you don't need the extra jar um but the lip scrub itself is just in this small container i want to smell it you know i do it's just sugar crystals sugar crystal lip scrub and it doesn't smell like anything froze makes me feel like it's gonna smell like uh sherbet or something it doesn't smell like anything next up in here we've gotten this brand before too but not as much as we've gotten some of the other ones so this is saturday skin this is the pretty pop prebiotic powered whipped cream i do actually have this already this retails for 57 dollars. i didn't realize it was so expensive i think i got another subscription another subscription box actually um but this is the saturday skin pretty pop probiotic whipped cream it's a moisturizer basically it has like small tiny little beads in it um, that when you put it on your skin like to moisturize it rubs away so you don't feel the little beads in it but it's just it's an okay moisturizer not my favorite thing in the world but definitely if like you need one hey get in a box no worry there especially for that expensive retail value next up let's do the long thing so we have a hair product here this is from ad adagio not so many ceramic flat iron why don't you just say regular size why are you gonna say not so many cool tips for easy styling designed with love so this is what it looks like. I'm not going to open it because I like, you know, I feel like anytime I pick like a hair product out of the box, I'll never be able to get it back in with the cord properly. But this retails for $99. She's expensive. Safe for all hair types. 100% ceramic plates. Um, compact design. But why call it the not so many? Just call it a regular sized. You know, I don't know about that. Um, next up in here, we have a pair of lashes from MAC. I didn't even see this in there. It's so small. These retail... For $18, these are the 84 Goddess Lash. These are too small for me. <laughs> you know, like on my everyday, they're too small. But they look cute. I mean, for everyday people who like wear a lash on like special occasions, not every single day, this would be a really good special occasion lash if you're not used to wearing big ones. It's cute. And then lastly in here, we have something from the New Co. N-U-E New Co. The Immunity Defense Drops for Herbal Supplement. This retails for $35. $35. It's for instance, defense drops. What does it say this does, actually? Your first line of defense against getting sick. Immune-boosting liquid with antifungal properties. Use the first line of scratchy throat or sneeze to help your body's immune response. Is it like something you eat? I don't really know if I want something I ingest in my boxy charm, y'all. Is it like a dropper? It's a dropper. Okay, so I'm fine with immunity things, especially like, you know, things that kick in before you actually get sick. I'm fine with that, but I don't want something I ingest in my makeup subscription box. I don't know why that bothers me, but it does. Or like if I order makeup and it comes with like a lollipop, I don't know, it freaks me out. I don't know why. <laughs> I know it's like brands being nice and everything. I don't know why. I don't want something I ingest in my makeup. I don't know. But anyways, let's go over everything we got in the Lux box this month. I know this video is dragging on a little long. I'm sorry about that. We have these Immunity Fence Drops, which is weird. A little pair of MAC lashes, which I didn't expect to see. We have a full-size, not so many, flat iron, which is cute. We have a, like, water-activated lip scrub, which is like a sugar crystal base. We have a really expensive body polish, really expensive for the price tag. We have a Saturday Skin Probiotic Moisturizer, a Rare Beauty Eyeshadow Palette 
really pretty packaging weird color scheme and then lastly we have this kab contour palette which would not really work for a contour palette for me but it's cute so anyways thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it let me know which box you think was the best down below i like the variety of products in the luxe one and the base one was fine because you get a big glam glow piece but i think the premium was my favorite this month but thank you guys so much i hope you enjoyed it again if you want to check out my shop theopencrypt.com i'll leave a link down below thank you again as always for not getting mad at me when I mention my own shop and stuff, but have a great day, guys. Hope you have a good one.